Hey there guys, what's going on? So I thought I'd share some of the nice tweaks you can do on the PC version of Skyrim with you guys. Such as increasing the field of view, disabling mouse acceleration, enabling certain shadow effects and such. Basically, just make the game look and feel a bit better. Let's start off by showing you guys what field of view actually is, and how it looks in the game when you change it. The default FOV in Skyrim is around 70. That works well for consoles, when you're sitting far away looking at a big TV screen, but when you're playing PC games you're very close to the monitor and your monitor is rather big, so it's really kind of narrow and awkward. You can't really see anything around you, your peripheral vision is really limited. So uh, let me show you how it looks and how you change it. This is the default field of view in Skyrim. You can't really see anything around you. To open the console you just press tilde, that's the button under escape next to your 1. It's the squiggly line thing. Let's crank it up to 80. As you can see, it's already a bit more zoomed out. Let's just keep increasing it. At field of view 85, you can see we've already increased our peripheral vision quite a bit. We can see that there's something there at the bottom left that we didn't know was there before. Field of view 90 increases our peripheral vision a little bit more, as you can tell. At around this point, the view models get a little bit distorted. You can probably tell by looking at the sword that it's a little bit curved. That's simply because the models weren't made for an FOV this high. We can just keep increasing our field of view. At 95 you can tell that the object at the bottom left is actually a tree stump, and there's a new fire there we didn't see before. At around 100 the view models will start getting really distorted, and the edges of the screen will curve sort of like you're in a bubble. As we keep increasing the FOV you can tell that it's getting more and more distorted. It's still playable at this point though. The view models are getting extremely distorted at this point. I can even see my left hand. Around 130 is probably the upper limit as to what's still playable in Skyrim. Just look at how distorted my arms are. Still, we can see a lot of the environment around us. 160 is the highest FOV Skyrim supports. The game is hardly playable at this point. Everything gets extremely stretched and distorted. Anyway, I prefer a FOV around 90, 95, maybe 100. It kind of depends on how wide your monitor is as well. Just experiment and see what fits you. Alright guys, I'm just gonna show you the difference between having these shadow options on or off. Check the video description for instructions on how to change this. As you can see, the rock self-shadowing helps quite a lot. It makes the environment look a little bit more natural. If you're having any sort of trouble running Skyrim with everything maxed already, you shouldn't be fiddling around with these settings since they do impact performance quite a bit. But if you have a computer that can handle it, it's definitely worth doing, it looks great. There's also a setting which makes the trees shadow themselves. It really gives the trees a little bit more depth and realism. Without the shadows, the trees look a bit out of place. They look a bit like cardboard cutouts. There's also a few other settings you can change. For example, to make water reflections look a little bit better. I'll type them all in the video description, so be sure to read that. Anyway, here's how you do these changes. The first thing you want to do is open up my documents, navigate to my games and then into Skyrim. There's where the ini files you're gonna edit are located. Go ahead and create a backup of these files, the skyrim.ini and the skyrimprefs.ini files, cause you're gonna be editing them. You don't wanna accidentally fuck up your game. Go ahead and open skyrimprefs.ini with notepad. Use the search feature to find the text you're looking for and then do the changes. Once you're done with the changes, save the file and exit notepad. For exactly what lines you wanna be editing, just check the video description, I'll post it there. Anyway, that's about it. Once you've saved, just run Skyrim and your changes should be in effect. Alright guys, have good fun in Skyrim. Remember, if you find any neat tricks or like glitches, bugs, you know that kind of stuff, just uh, send them in to me and I'll make a video about it.